Connection is created by one authentic, tender, occasionally not so tender conversation at a time. Leaders get out to know their people. Reach out, connect. The fastest anecdote to disconnection is to do something for someone. Anonymously. True story. I was running a call center and one of our clients was Microsoft. And they were absolutely brutal to one of my team leads and account managers. I mean brutal. And she was absolutely in tears. And it bothered me. Later that night, I went down and she had gone. It was about six. And I took out a little post-it note, a yellow post-it note, and I said, Tanakil, don't let Microsoft bug you. Don't let it get to you. You are going to do amazing things. Never ever let the weaknesses of others control you. And I signed it art. And I just stuck it to her monitor. And I left. I had heard nothing about that. She never said anything and I never talked to her about it again. And we worked for another probably two years. I was going through the mall about three years ago and up comes this woman running towards me down the mall. Art, art, art. Now for those of you who've run large call centers, you'll know the sensation. I know you, I, you obviously know me, <laughs> but I often will say, I'm sorry, but you have me at a disadvantage. How do I know you? And she said, Art, I'm Tannikil. And all of a sudden it clicked, oh Tannikil, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in 15 years. And we had both aged, like you do. And she goes, yes. And she said, I want to show you something. And she rummaged through her purse and she pulled out her wallet and she's now flipping through pictures of her kids. And I'm like, she's gonna show me pictures of kids, right? <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, okay, we'll go with it. We'll see pictures of her kids, but she didn't. Behind one of her pictures of one of her kids, she pulled out a yellow post-it note. It was the same post-it note I had stuck on her monitor. She had kept it for 15 years and still has it to this day. And with tears in her eyes, she said, Art, every time I don't feel like I'm worth it, every time I don't feel like I'm good enough or smart enough, I take this little post-it note out and I read it and it gives me strength. There was somebody that knew I would amount to something. Thank you. You never know what the smallest act will do for someone. You never know.